What is up guys, this is JG Andrew from Droid Syndicate bringing you a video on how to install CyanogenMod 9 on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So basically what you're going to want to do is click on the ROM thread link below. It's going to bring you to this page. You're just going to scroll down a bit and download those three files you see there. You can download the ROM from Google Drive as said after the download link. You can download the latest Google Apps and you can also download the blue soft buttons. Now I recommend downloading all of them. The only one you don't have to, which is optional, is the blue soft buttons. But I do recommend it because it actually does give it a really nice look. So make sure you push all of those files to your internal SD card on your Galaxy Nexus and I'll meet you guys with our phone powered off in the next clip. Okay, so as you can see, we're powering off our phone now. And what we're going to do once our phone actually turns off, you can actually see a preview of the blue soft keys right there. Once our phone powers off, we're going to go ahead and boot into our custom recovery. Now, if you do not have a custom recovery installed, mm -hmm. then um, make sure you have one because this video isn't really going to be much use for you. So now that our phone is powered off, you're going to want to wait a few seconds because after it vibrates, it does take a little bit for the screen to so to turn off all of its systems. So now what you're going to want to do to get in your custom recovery is hold down both of these volume rockers and hold down power at the same time. It's going to vibrate once and bring you into our fast boot. Now in our fast boot we can do lots of stuff but for now we're just going to want to scroll up two times to recovery mode. Press power and it's going to boot into our custom recovery. Now once we're in our custom recovery we're going to go ahead and wipe our data and wipe our cache partition. And once that's done, we can go ahead and install um, all of the files that we need. So as you can see, we have our custom recovery up right now. You just want to scroll down once to scroll down two times to wipe data factory reset. Click power, delete all your user data. So go ahead and wait for that to delete. It doesn't take that long, but it is going from your internal storage. So typically on the Galaxy, not really just the Galaxy Nexus, but just the standard nexus lines it usually takes a little while so now we're going to scroll down three times past the wipe data and wipe our cache partition go ahead and wipe that cache partition and now we can actually install all of those files that we downloaded it and put onto our galaxy nexus so let's just wait for that to finish and there we go scroll down once to install zip from SD card now go ahead and find that file that find the folder or wherever you put it go ahead and click choose zip from SD card and try and find that cyanogenbond9.zip so mine was in my download folder I put it in my download folder and it's right here update cm99 so go ahead and install and we're just gonna wait for that to install that's going to install the ROM itself so that is installing cyanogenbond9 but wait there's more you actually now have to install the Google Apps. Now the Google Apps are basically Gmail, Google Play, um, all your standard Google Apps that it's going to install. Now when you open up CyanogenMod 9 you're not going to have those Google Apps installed. You're actually going to have to install them from Google Play that's just CyanogenMod 9 does to give it just a nice clean style so that you don't really get all those um, sort of bloatware-ish uh, Google apps that you can't really remove from your stock ROM. So we're going to wait for that to install and I'll be back with you guys at um, our finished screen. Okay, so now that our install of the ROM has finished, we're going to go ahead and choose the Google app zip. So mine again is in my download folder and you can see that's right there. GApps, ICS, I don't know if you can see it, my camera isn't the best for making videos like these, but it's right there. Go ahead and click on that, scroll down to yes, and install those Google Apps. Now, if you didn't, or if you did, you can go ahead and install those blue, uh, those blue soft buttons now, if you'd like to, if you did put those files. Those are going to make um, your bottom buttons blue. So it's going to give it a nice dark blue, and it actually might say battery because the original ones were white, and the screen on this phone does not handle white very well with battery life. So go ahead and go to that download folder where you set those blue soft keys. If you, if you want to install it, I mean, like, you don't really have to install it, but 
I actually really do enjoy the blue soft keys. So it takes literally no time to install just like that. Press back and go ahead and reboot system now. And what that's going to do is boot up our CyanogenMod 9. You can see that my phone is unlocked. That's a good sign. It says that if you get an error screen, most likely your phone is bricked. And I really can't do anything about it. So don't complain to me. Um, I did this um, the best I could. I tried to explain it the best I could. So don't blame it on me if you end up breaking your phone practically. Because I really did not just do that. It was you who did it, not me. I was just showing you how. So yeah, if your phone does break in this process, please, please do not get angry at me. Because there really is nothing I can do. So as you can see, we got that really cool Cyanage Mod 9 boot up animation. And after this, it's just going to get us to that Google, sort of the Google startup screen. And then we can just set up our stuff from there. Now, I'm not going to show you my setup because I'll show you like my password and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and be back at you guys at our home screen. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this. And I'll go more in depth on this in my review, which there should be an annotation right about now for that. Okay, so here we are, we are at the CM9 startup screen, and what you get in this ROM are a bunch of tweaks and stuff, I definitely recommend it, but remember there are those two really minor bugs, and your notification bar, instead of it saying sprint, it's going to say roaming indicator off, and MMS does not work at the moment. And as you can see, our blue like our soft keys are actually blue now so that's pretty cool and if you're watching this video from XDA I posted my first thread from there go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it go ahead and thumbs down if you didn't like it and you think that I can do better go ahead and comment if you did dislike or give me a really nice comment if you did like <laughs> so yeah guys uh, thank you for watching go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to and yeah feel free to watch my review video because I go really in-depth on what this ROM is, and I do have some interruptions. So, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.